Hi guys, so this is go I wish I was shaking. Hi guys, so this is going to be a video on my top three products. Um basically that I cannot live without. Um I was requested to do this video, so yeah, I was requested to do top three products of 2012, but I already did a favorites product and I couldn't really weed out like three that I really liked, so I just picked three products that I can never live without at all. Um yeah, that like I have to have. So yeah, and I I feel like I'm not like oh, I hate having straight hair. Like it's just annoying because I don't know if it looks good or not. Whatever. I don't know. Tell me if you guys like me with straight hair or curly hair better. Because I personally like curly hair when it's curled, but I see more mature. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, anyway. So the first product, I just have to explain. If there would have to be one product that I think everyone should have, it would have to be mascara. And I know people are like, oh no, I need foundation. You know, I can't go out in public without foundation. You know, my skin is horrible, whatever. Mine is too. Trust me, okay? I think that everyone should have mascara in their routine somewhere because I feel like if the eyes aren't defined or if they just, I don't know, if they're not, if they're not bold enough or they don't have enough, I mean, not saying like big eyeliner or anything, but if, you know, if your lashes don't really have that much color or whatever, apply some mascara and you will look like you actually took some more time to look more put together. I feel like it actually defines the eyes and you really need something to look more awake, something so it does look awake when I have no makeup on or whatever. My eyes look, they, they don't look okay, okay? So, that is why my first product would have to be my Maybelline Volume Express called, um, Volume Express Mascara. I haven't opened this yet because I haven't gone through my other mascaras, but then I bought this one because I really wanted to try it. And this is the Power Volume Collagen Mascara from Maybelline. And it just looks like this with this brush. Let me zoom in because I've been using it and it's been doing an okay job. But that's just what the brush looks like, and it's just a very odd-shaped kind of little thingamahoo. And, um, ew, it smells gross, but, um... And the brush can get annoying, though, because it's so thin, but it's big, so it's kind of annoying. But this other one has actually a big brush, and it's actually dense enough, so it's actually coating my lashes enough where it's all good. So that's why I like this one a lot. Um, yeah, so I have to start you know, going through this and getting that, so get into that, whatever. So that's why I think, you know, even an eyeliner, I wouldn't mind, but I just really can't live without mascara. And there's really nice ones from the drugstore, such as this one, which is about, I don't know how many dollars it is, probably six around there, but it's really cheap. You do not have to invest in a really expensive mascara, because I feel like the ones from the drugstore, like Maybelline Falsies, it's just amazing. I mean... And it's good because they're cheap too, and you're going to be throwing it out. You should usually throw out your mascara within, I don't know, a couple of weeks because bacteria does grow on it inside from um, always opening and closing it. Eyelashes are eyelashes, you know? Everyone's got to have some eyelashes, whether they be fake or real, but mostly fake. <laughs> the next product, which is something that my friend actually gave me, but I did purchase this, and you did see it in my favorites video. Um, but I lost it in school, which really just drove me insane. But then my friend got it for me for Christmas along with some a NARS blush, which I was like, oh, thank you, Gord. Gord? Gord. Her name is not Gord. It's Jacqueline. Okay, <laughs> Gord. What the heck? Okay, anyway, um, I'm so weird right now. Um, it is Rosebud Salve, and this is actually like the mint rose one. And I love this one so much because it is so amazing on the lips. It looks like so bright, but I actually have it on now, and it's not even that pigmented. And it smells amazing. It smells fresh and clean, and it doesn't even smell gross. I don't know. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell too bad. And it, well, it smells amazing. And it doesn't smell too out there. But it smells fresh and clean. And I think that everyone should have this rosebud salve from the Rosebud Perfume Company, or whatever. This isn't the original one, so it's not the one that you can just. Um, put on anything. So this is just a lip balm one. So I think that lip balm is something that, like, if your lips are chapped, girl, ew, I don't need your little crusty lips all talking to me. But like, whoa. Full coverage foundation that I really like is my Makeup Forever HD foundation, and it just looks like this. This one is in, I keep on rambling. This one's in N155, and that's just, it's just, it's a pump, so it's actually very clean and hygienic. I think I've had this for like a while now. I know it's so bad. I've had it since like July, but. I didn't use it all up yet because I don't wear foundation every day because I go to a school where they don't let us wear makeup. So, 
that's why I go all out on the weekend. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I wear makeup on the weekend when I'm going out in public because you don't want to see this without makeup. Trust so me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. And thank you so much for watching.